back to News Geelong. New street signs will be popping up all around the city as Meryl Friend was there for the City of Greater Geelong's announcement. There are going to be 13 new visitor information signs located all around the City of Greater Geelong and on the waterfront and the City of Greater Geelong were able to consult with some students from Mandama Primary School and Gravedale Secondary College. Well it started as a, a project where we realised that people have trouble finding their way around Geelong and uh, it's, uh, we looked at other cities in both in Australia and overseas and looked at the way we can do it. And, and it came up with, after going to tender, um, to a process that we've got here now. And you were able to uh, involve local school, school students as well? Absolutely. It's a passion of ours and some cities are for everyone. They're not just for, for the adults and the children are often left out and they're important and they have to be comfortable in the city. Now your children in Grade 3 here have been able to put their voice to some of the queries about these new maps. How did you get involved? Okay, we've got a team at school called Student Voice, representatives of grade three, four, five and six. Today I've got the grade threes from that team and uh, we were delighted to be involved with the City of Grade Geelong and the projects team to give our opinion on um, what could benefit the community. So we were delighted to be involved. All right, now Lockie, can you tell me some of the suggestions that you were able to make to help the appearance of the map? Well, we made, we made up an idea that we could have a echidna called Spike, what they have to, f where the little kids have to f try and find where he is. Uh, we had some Year Nine and Ten students from Grovedale College participating. It was a great opportunity for them to get involved in something within the community. Um, they really enjoyed the process, and I think they've really enjoyed seeing the finished product today. It's a great w reward for them, and, and also a great way for them to contribute to the community. And to the City of Great Geelong have been very forward-thinking in their approach to this particular project. We started it in October last year and it's been very involved. We've consulted a wide range of community groups uh, including uh, going in and doing consultation sessions in the school and that feedback has been absolutely fantastic and critical in our development of what we have now, a fantastic product in our wayfinding signs. Meryl Friend, News Geelong. Debbie Meany spoke to Mac and Jack down at Anglesey about their recent band success and the Anglesey Music Festival as it nears. I'm here in Anglesey talking with some young musicians in the band Al Mac and Jack and about their recent success. So you've had some recent success in a statewide competition, can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, it was a competition that the go government was running in Victoria and um, you had to send in a video of you guys playing recently and um, everyone in Victoria did that and write an essay and fill out all this stuff about why you should win and um, then they looked through the videos and slowly just whittled it down to a few people and yeah, we ended up winning that which was awesome. So how did you get together? Um, it's a long story. It ha actually happened at this pub here. Um, we all were coming to play at Anglesey Live and with different bands and then the band I was in didn't quite show up and same with the other guys and so then it ended up we were all kind of without a band but all wanting to play. So we ended up just playing together through that and we happened to enter a competition which we weren't, didn't actually know that we were in at the time and we ended up coming third I think and um, that was in the cool school competition and so then we had to write some music to record so that is how we formed. <laughs> and where does your name come from? It's just all our names put together pretty much. Stu's dad came up with it in like two seconds of us being a band so that's what happened that's how it stuck. <laughs> and uh, where can people catch you these days? Um, we're playing at the Anglesey Music Festival. Um, tonight we're playing in Colac I think at a freezer event. Yeah. Um, yeah, just music festivals and pubs yeah, around. Sure. Yeah, we play at the National Hotel. Um, we're playing there in a couple of weeks, actually. So, yeah. This is Debbie Meany in Anglesey for News Geelong. Anglesey is hosting its first major music festival, and Debbie Meany spoke to director Karen Stoneham. Anglesey is set to rock to its first music festival in October. I spoke with Karen Stoneham, the festival director, to tell us about it. So the mixture of talent is quite impressive. It is really impressive. We've got um, our emerging and established acts together and they're all coming together on the 8th, 9th and 10th of October and it's going to be absolutely sensational weekend of music. And it's not just one venue? No, we've got CIs, we've got the Anglesey Hotel, um, we've also got a big marquee and then we've got fringe fit venues that will be um, coming on board and they'll be having music as well. And where did the idea come from? We've been running Anglesey Live now for 10 years and it's just emerged from there so it's just something that's grown 
from having a, a music night and now because we get so booked up with our acts, it's just growing. And you play in a couple of the bands? Yeah, I play in Mangy Black Dogs and, and Mystique. So there's, there's two bands there that I'll be playing in over the weekend. And uh, where can people get tickets or more information? Uh, more information, Google um, Anglesey Music Festival or for tickets, Mosh Ticks um, and really cheap tickets. It's $70 for a weekend at Old Pass. So it's affordable and um, I want everyone to come on board and support this festival because it's, it's a brilliant festival to come to. So you've got a number of acts? Our acts include Shane Howard, Wendy Staper and Lisa Edwards, Paul Norton, Michael Christian. We've also got the band Who Knew Too Much, Chris Wilson, Dave Steele, Tiffany Eckard, The Sweethearts, Mojo Corner, Tony Johansson, The Land of Plenty, Chubby Ray and The Elevators. We've got Wayne Jury, Stringy Bark. We've got Mangy Black Dogs, Jesse Jackson, The Underhanded, Al Mack and Jack, Revolver and Sun Houses, just to name a few. So go to our website and check it out because it's a music festival not to be missed. This is Debbie Meany in Anglesey for News Geelong. Thanks Debbie. This is News Geelong and as the first day of spring comes to an end, we will return right after this with weather and sport.